GuardPoint Pro is an access control and alarm management software. It's designed to control your doors and your premises as well as manage your staff in terms of where they can go and what time they're allowed to go in. But of course, beyond these basic principles, it can do much more than that. Uh, you can see here an example of access granted events coming through the uh, front door with details of the user changing as they actually pop through the door. And you can also have a second display window or a third if you like where you can see other doors being actually accessed with these pictures coming from the database. Um, you have the, the access control display event over here showing the the date, the time, the transaction that took place, i.e. the name and which location. And of course you also have an alarm management window here which can show you if there are any specific alarms on site. For example, a door being forced open or a door being left open, which are of course very important events. Uh, GuardPoint Pro can of course offer you much more than that. Within the card management platform, you can enter the details of the card holder, you can design and print badges for the card holder. Uh, these designs are completely user definable. Uh, so you can put your own logo, your your uh, the photo as it comes in, and these are of course uh, up to the user how they design these uh, the badges. And you can add things like access group in terms of what time this person is allowed to go in, where, which doors they're allowed to go in, uh, when when is the card valid? These are all standard features. Um, other features within the software allows you to see location of the card holder at any time. So I can see, for example, here Lucy has been to the main entrance at 2.23 on the 3rd of March. Uh, there's a really good level of customization that could be done. For example, here I can define bullion type fields, which basically you can tick them to say this guy's first aid or, or not. Um, you can have date fields, you can have drop down menus, all these are user definable and you can have a limited number of user definable fields. Um, you can see there's quite a few examples here. And you can have up to four user de de definable labels. These labels are limited to four but uh, invariably you can re meet your requirement with the definable fields which is quite useful. Also within the software, you can control your alarms. For example, using interactive maps, uh, if I just acknowledge that alarm which uh, took place a few seconds ago, and say uh, I was testing, because this will be logged and can be reported, so each operator will actually be responsible for their own actions. Uh, an alarm taking place, if I just unlock all doors from this process, now everything is back to normal. Uh, if I have an alarm, you can see the alarm is reported uh, and, the, and a, a display has come up to say what the problem is, which is basically a fire, uh, leave or leave now. This is something which is user definable. The, the input that's been alarm has been reported, the instructions which is user definable has been reported and uh, this can all be acknowledged by the operator and can also be confirmed. But really here just to show you an example that you can control your inputs, your relay outputs, uh, your cameras, any devices you have on site you can control. Uh, e here we have even a, even a nicer example. We can actually control processes. For example, I can actually unlock all doors by clicking this button, which I had just done, and I can return all doors back to normal. The beauty of that is I can have somebody who is not very highly skilled in IT uh, that can actually operate the system and by clicking buttons they can open, close doors, send messages, uh, look at what's happening in the building with a really simple interface. Um, other things that can be done with the uh, software that are beyond access control is things like parking management. That's quite a smart module. This basically allows you to control several parking lots and uh, several groups of, of card holders from the software. So basically if we look at the example here 
I have contractors, doctors, nurses in a hospital for example and I have several parking lots I can actually dictate what capacities I would have per discipline and this is then dictated uh, to per parking lot so for example parking lot A I could have 20 nurses, 30 doctors, 40 contractors and as soon as one of these disciplines expire their capacity on a site it will mean no more of this type of cardholder can actually enter the parking lot. So it's actually a very smart parking control management, uh, which is one example of the modules. Other modules that are available is lift control. You can control which floors each tenant can actually go to when they are inside the lift. So when they present their card, for example, I have here two tenants. I have Barclays and Sensor Access in the same building. Barclays, they're allowed to go to floor 20 and 24. So you can see these are options are ticked. And these are the, the card holders that belong to Barclays who will have access to these floors. And sensor access have level 3 and level 10 to 15. 11, uh, so basically, again, it shows you where sensor access staff can access within this building. And this is another module, it's basically lift control module. It's quite a nice way to control your uh, access to lifts. Other modules we have is time and attendance, which is quite a popular one. Uh, this really enables you to control the total hours worked and be able to report on them. Um, you can create different shifts for different groups of card holders. Uh, you can calculate their early departures, their late departures, uh, you can insert their holidays. You can also use transaction codes, which basically means you can assign you can assign a, a report a report like uh, for example, somebody's finished work, I can use, transaction code 7. So the whole idea is when you actually leave work, you present your card, you punch in 7 and the system will know you've actually finished work or it could be you've gone on uh, to work away from the office. Again, you can use a different transaction code to uh, mimic that. Uh, so this is quite a nice uh, module, time attendance. Uh, there's another module which is guard patrol. This allows somebody to actually walk around your building at night time by a tour which you've dictated so and uh, you've automatically defined the points within your building and accordingly you've decided to put a program of um, which points are to be inspected at what time and the tolerance you expect somebody to be in within that within these points in terms of early and lateness so that's another module and of course another important module is the CCTV integration module. This allows you to display live footage from your system, your, your CCTV system, uh, next to your access control. So if there's an alarm or if there's an access granted, you can automatically have the uh, pop-up views come in with uh, live images as well as the ability to record these events and play them back after the event has actually taken place. Uh, this is done with a number of manufacturers. For example, we've got Avigilon, uh, dedicated micros, Gotobrook. Um, so you simply define these devices in your network and you start defining the cameras that belong to these devices. And you can have the two systems talking to each other. So really, overall, uh, the Guard Point Pro Access Control software, it can, it can do a lot of the functionalities you need if you want it to be a basic access control system but also it can expand and grow with your requirement.